Okay, this is a training session on uh, Asia Miles. Uh, here's an example of an Asia Miles quote. The passenger is flying from Melbourne, Australia to Cairo, Egypt on October 11 and back November 1. And uh, <clears throat> the, the way that you find out, the easiest way to find out it's available in the first place is to go to uh, KVS and put it in there and see if it shows up as FS plus or CS plus. So the, when you're starting out looking for an Asia miles quote, uh, one easy way to check and see if it's available to begin with is to go to KVS, put in Melbourne to Cairo, October 11, for example, one person hit go. And then you'll see that there's two FSs here which means that first class is available, FS plus on QR, which is Qatar Airways. So it's using Asia Miles, but it's flying on uh, Qatar Airways. Asia Miles is CX, of course. So this to, and KVS tells us that when we go to the Asia Miles website, we're probably gonna find this uh, available. Then on the return, which is November 1st, same thing, KVS tells us that it's probably available in first class. We don't see any CS plus, so therefore we know it's not available in business class. It's good, we're gonna have to use first class. So it's good to go to KVS first and just do a quick check and see if it's even worth, worth going to the website. And if you find it in KVS that it's available and you know that it's worth going to the website, then for Asia Miles, the next thing you do <clears throat> is go to the uh, Asia Miles website and um, the first thing to do is uh, make sure you have your own free account there so that you can log in. And when you first get to the Asia Miles website, you may not see this that you see on my screen. You should, um, if, if you stay logged into Asia Miles, when you click your shortcut, you should get here easily. But let's say that you don't get here easily and you just end up at <clears throat> asiamiles.com. Even though it's Cathay Pacific, you don't go to CathayPacific.com. <clears throat> Instead, you go to their reward website, which is called AsiaMiles.com. It's owned by Cathay Pacific, but you do not go to the Cathay Pacific you know, website. <clears throat> so if you end up in the wrong place, it's kind of complicated to get to the right place. Um, you have to go to Redeem Miles, Flight Awards, and to do this, you have to be logged in first. So get your own free account. If you get to this screen, this is not really a good screen to use to do your flight searches. So if you get to this screen, you know you're in the wrong place. So what you wanna do is um, <clears throat> you have to kind of fish around to get to the right place. And I have it as, I have it as my shortcut. So I get to the right place easily. And from here, I'm not even sure how we get there. Let's see. So I'm, I'm doing it wrong on purpose so that you can see that if you end up in the wrong place, how do you find the right place? So you just have to kind of fish around. Let's see, Flight Award Finder. We don't want that next. First, Flight Award Charts. Um, I don't even see it here. So they, they make it really hard to find the correct place. Um, so let's see, redeem miles, flight awards. And you have to be logged in first to be doing this. Yeah, see, it's, it keeps sending me to the wrong place. So I would say that you probably, once you get logged in, you need to have the right link copy and paste it because it's really hard to get to the right place on their website. Um, this one is supposedly the right place, but it's really not, you know, because you click on standard awards you put in your cities, it's not gonna show all the cities that they actually offer. Like if I try and put in Melbourne to Cairo here, I don't think it even shows up. See, it doesn't even let me put Cairo here. I mean, let me see, there's a list of cities. Maybe it's got it on this list. See, it's not there, there's no Cairo. So when you, if you're trying to do Asia Miles from this particular part of their website, it, it makes you think you're in the right place, but you're not. So you're gonna to have to probably uh, copy and paste this link. Once you finally do find the right place, you're gonna have a website that looks like this. It says Asia Miles Flight Award. And this is the right place to do your searches. So if you don't ever get to this place, 
Um, if you fish around on the website, you'll eventually figure out how to get here. And when you do, make sure you save it as a bookmark. Or if you don't easily find it, then just ask me for the link. And um, uh, in fact, I'll put that link in Skype right now for those of you that are um, listening right now. That's the link that you want to, it's a big long thing. That's the link that you want to put in your, um, in your bookmarks. See, when I click, first I have to log into Asia Miles first. And once I'm logged in, then I can click this shortcut and it takes me right to the right place in their website. You're in the wrong place unless it says Asia Miles Flight Award. If it says Asia Miles Flight Award, you're in the right place. If you're at that other page that we were just looking at, you're in the wrong place. This is the wrong place. This is the wrong place. Especially this one, a lot of people think, okay, here I am, I'm gonna do a, an award search. This is not it. This only finds flights that are on <clears throat> Cathay Pacific, I think. I think it doesn't even have Yes, uh, I'm not even sure why it doesn't have all the cities here. But anyway, that's the wrong place. So you got to get you got to get logged in first. Then you got to make sure you get to a, a page that looks like this: Asia Miles Flight Awards, and it looks exactly like this. The this is the right place. Okay. So what we're doing is we're searching from um, Melbourne, Australia to uh, to Cairo. So Melbourne, it shows up. So I can click it. If I put Cairo here. And be sure and spell it out because otherwise you might get Cairns Australia. C A I also begins Cairns Australia, C A I R N S. So that's why you want to go go more than just C A I. Even though the airport code is C A I, it's giving you two choices and one of them is the wrong one. So you might want to just spell it out completely till you get all the way to Cairo, Egypt. You don't want Cairns Australia, which also starts with C A I. You want Cairo, which also starts with CAI. So we're doing a round trip. And on Asia Miles, if you can do it as a round trip, it costs less miles than if you do it as two one ways. Some airlines, it doesn't matter if you do it as two one ways. But on Asia Miles, it matters. It's, it costs less if you do it as a round trip. It's the same with Emirates. If Emirates, if you do it as two one ways, it costs more than if you do it as a round trip. Asia Miles, it costs more if you do it as two one ways instead of a round trip. On Delta and Air Canada and most of the others, it doesn't matter. But on Asia Miles and Emirates, uh, if you want the best price for the customer, you gotta do it as a round trip. You can still do it as two one ways or even just use a one way if you need to, but it's charging you more for that one way than if you you know, it's more than half of a round trip. Okay, so here we are, we're, we're round trip. We want, uh, we were gonna search for business class, but KVS told us that business class is not available. So instead we're gonna search for first class. Okay, so we're gonna search October 11th and uh, come back November 1st, just cause that's what the customer wants. One person search. Okay, now what we're doing here is only gonna tell us the amount of taxes because the amount of miles that it says here at this part of the website isn't right. You can't depend on what it says here for the miles. You have to go get the miles a different place. So here we are at standard awards. It says if you go on October 11th and re return November 1st, you would think it's 190,000 points because that's what it says here. And in fact, the person who did this quote right here accidentally used 190,000 points, which is why I'm doing this training. If we go look at the math line for this particular quote that we're looking at right here, the math line shows right here that this quoter used 190,000 points. I don't know if you can see it right here. It says CX 190,000 and they use taxes of 539. Both of those numbers are wrong because they were taken from where we are right now. So what we uh, are doing right where we are right now is just finding out that it's available. We can't go by this 190,000 miles and we can't go by this tax, okay? Uh, we are gonna we are gonna copy this tax into the currency calculator because it's the beginnings of learning how to get the tax. We start with that number for the tax, but we have to add add an airport tax to it whenever you're using Asia miles. So this says it's available for 190,000 points, and we're not going to believe that from this part of the website, but we are going to believe the taxes from this part of the website. Let me see if I can take this further and show you the flights. So yeah, here's the flights, Qatar flights, here's the return flights, is out, the uh, outgoing, the incoming. And it, it says right here, it's 190,000 points plus 41.99 Hong Kong dollars. 
So the only usefulness of, of this is to verify which flight numbers they are, that they are available. Of course, I already knew that from KVS when I looked them up over here. It already showed me the flight numbers and that it's available. So what I'm really doing here is I'm just uh, kind of re-verifying to myself that they really are available. And I'm finding out that this part of the website says it's 190,000 points, but I know that's wrong, so I'm not going to use that. This part of the website says the taxes are 41.99. That's really the only thing I'm doing at this part of the website is I'm finding out these taxes are 41.99. Then I'm going to put those in the award calculator, 41.99, and it comes out to US dollars 539. When I go to put that in the award calculator, um, I, I can put the 190,000 here to start with just as a reminder that you know that I that the flights are available, but really it's not going to be 190,000. So when I put the taxes in here, see it's 539. When I put the taxes in here with Asia miles, I still have to add to that a fee over here in the fee column. I have to add a hundred dollars each way for an airport tax that they do not include in their taxes on their website. The website says that it's um, 41.99 Hong Kong dollars. I convert that to US. That's fine, that's the taxes, but there's another airport tax that you have to add right here in the fees column, which is $100 each way per person. So this is one person, it's round trip, so $100 each way is $200 that I have to add right here in the fees column. That's an extra airport tax that they have to pay that Asia Miles does not tell you about on their website. They surprise you with it when they do the ticketing. So remember that it said 190,000, but I'm gonna show you how to find out that it's really 220,000. So we got the taxes. So to review, we do believe the taxes that are on this part of the website. We don't use this page for searching. We use this page for searching. And when we get there, we find out that it's 190,000 maybe, and the taxes are 41.99 maybe. And really, when you have to convert the 41.99 to US dollars, you get the 539, and you put that in your award calculator, you still have to add $100 each way airport tax in this fees column per person. If it's two people, you're going to add $400 round trip. If it's one person, you're going to add $200 round trip. Of course, I'm doing this for one person. This is the miles for one person, so I'm just going to put it in once. $100 each way per person. You have to put in the fees column uh, whenever you're doing um, Asia miles, okay? And notice it didn't tell me that anywhere on the website. All it told me was this 539 taxes. So you use that, and that's what we're doing here at this part of the website. We're finding out it's 41.99. We're putting it in here. We're converting to U.S. dollars. We're putting it in the award calculator. But then you just have to know that you have to add another $100 each way in this fees column. Okay, so now why is it not 190,000 points? I'll show you why. Because with Asia Miles, after you see here that it's maybe 190,000 points, you have to, after you see these flights are available and you've got all those flights copied into your itinerary and your quote, you still have to go to a different part of the Asia Miles website and you, you go back to your main page here where it says uh, redeem and where you logged in and so on. And over here on the far right, it says flight award finder. This is where you're gonna find out how many miles it really is because you can't believe that 190,000 where we just were. This is where you're gonna find out how many miles it really is. And then when this, when you click on flight award finder, this thing pops up. Don't put your cities in yet because it's gonna make you put them in again anyway. So just leave this blank and just hit search. So notice where we are. We're on the main page where you logged in. And um, over here on the far right, it says flight award finder in this list right here. Let me see if I can make it so that it, goes back the way it was. It's right here, Flight Award Finder. So you have to find that and then hit that and then don't put your cities in yet, just hit search. And then it's gonna bring up this page right here that you see on my left here, okay? And on this page, you, just, you can't just put Melbourne to Cairo. You have to put every single leg. Now remember over here it told us it's going Melbourne to Doha, then from Doha to Cairo. And on the way back it's going from Cairo to Doha, then from Doha to Melbourne. So there's four flights. So you can't just put in two flights. You gotta put in all four of those. You gotta put it in leg by leg. Okay, so we're gonna go down here. We're gonna say round trip because we know it costs less miles if we do a round trip. 
if you're only going one way, then you just put one way. If you're only going to use half Asian miles and half something else, then you're forced to just put it in one way and just use the one way. But we have already found out on KVS that this is available round trip, so we might as well do it round trip because it costs less. Okay, so we're going to do it round trip, but we still have to put in all four legs. So select an origin, Melbourne, Australia. If it doesn't let you spell it out, then you got to pick it. Make sure you don't get Melbourne, Florida. Make sure you get Melbourne, Australia. The first place it's going is Doha. Why do I know that? Because it told me that in both KVS and also on the website. So I have to put that leg first. Select an airline, Qatar. Then you got to put another leg. So you go down here where it says add sector and you click add sector and the next leg goes from Doha to Cairo. Okay, so I got to put Doha to Cairo for the next leg. When they do the ticketing, this is what they're going to do, and that's why it comes out to cost more than the 190000 Qatar. Then I have to click Add Sector again. Then I'm going to go back from Cairo back to Doha. Back from Cairo back to Doha. That's the, the hub of... Um, Qatar Airways. We're flying on Qatar, but we're using Asia Miles to pay for it. Okay, then I still need another sector, so I go down here and click Add Sector again. Now I'm going from Doha to um, Melbourne, Australia. Make sure you don't get Melbourne, Florida. Just like when you're doing Sydney, Australia, be sure you're not getting Sydney, Canada. It's not Sydney, Canada. It's Sydney, Sydney, Australia most of the time. So I have all four legs in here now. Melbourne to Doha, Doha to Cairo, Cairo back to Doha, Doha back to Melbourne. I have all four. They're all on Qatar Airways. It's a round trip ticket. It's first class because that's what KBS told me was available. Uh, or in some cases, you go straight to the website and the website said it was available. So then you hit this calculate button and notice instead of 190,000 miles, it says, uh oh, it's 220,000 miles. So that's why you have to check it leg by leg because the Asia Miles website makes a mistake on the miles if you just take it off the main part of their website. You have to come here and do this flight award finder to find out how many miles it really is. So we got the taxes from the main part of the website, but we didn't believe the 190,000. We came here to find out how many miles it really is. So therefore in the award calculator, it's not 190,000 here, which is what the website said. It's really 220,000, okay? So notice what I did. I got the taxes from the main part of the website, which also told me the flights were available. KVS also told me the flights were available, but I had to go to the main part of the website to find out the taxes. And I got the taxes, I converted them to US dollars, I put in this 539, but then always on every reservation, every Asia Miles reservation, you always, always add $100 per direction per person. It's not $100 just to Doha and another $100 to Cairo. No, it's just $100 per direction means you get on the plane in Melbourne, you're going to keep on going until you get to Cairo. That's a direction even though you might make one plane change or two plane changes all the way along the way, it's still considered one direction. So one direction is all the way from Melbourne to Doha to Cairo. That's one direction. The other direction is all the way from Cairo to Doha to Melbourne. That's the other direction. So it's a hundred dollars to get all the way from Melbourne to Doha to Cairo. And it's another hundred dollars to get all the way the other direction, which is Cairo to Doha to Melbourne. So in other words, it's $200 round trip that you add in this column right here. Okay, so this quote that went out was priced at 4532 and they had a high GP on it, but really it isn't a high GP. It's really only a $300 GP because that person didn't know to add uh, all these other fees and they didn't know that it's 220,000 instead of 190. They used 190 plus the taxes and they didn't add the 200 in fees but luckily they did use 1200 GP. So this quote actually is okay. I just have to change it to 550 GP and it comes out to the price they said. So in this quote, it was marked as 1200 GP because the quoter made a mistake. They used 190,000 points and they only used the $500 taxes. They didn't add the 200 and they didn't add the other miles. So when you put it in the award calculator correctly, it's not 1200 GP. It's really only 550. I'm purposely making it the same price because the customer's already got this quote, so we're gonna have to live with it. We're gonna have to live with the quote. 
but we're not going to have 1200 GP. We're going to have 550. So I just want you to know that if you're trying to make 1200 GP on something, the price could be a lot higher than this. So this one worked out okay, luckily, because the quoter had a high GP and we're able to just change the GP and still be okay and still sell it for what the quoter offered it. It's a great price, 4762 for first class round trip. That's really, really a, a good price. Um, I haven't checked you know, to compare it to retail, but I'm sure it's a big savings. So that's, uh, uh, does anybody have any questions on that? Um, if you don't speak up and ask a question, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and repeat myself just to be perfectly clear. So if you're doing an Asia Miles quote, the best thing to do is to start out in KVS and find out that it's even available. So I put Asia Miles is CX, Melbourne to Cairo, I put the date, I found out there's no CS plus, all there is is FS plus, so I know when I go to the website, I'm gonna search for first class. Here's the return, there's no CS plus, there's only FS plus, so I know when I go to the website, I'm gonna look for first class, okay? Or if you don't use KVS, some people don't like to use KVS, if you don't use KVS, then you would go, and even if you do use KVS, you're still gonna to have to go to the website anyway. So you go directly to the website, and when you first get to the website, you have to log in first, first log in. Then after you log in, you need to have a shortcut like I do here that'll get you to the right page because if you don't have that shortcut, it's gonna take you 20 minutes every time you get to their website to figure out how to get to this particular page. This is the only page which is the right one that'll tell you if the flights are really available. If you're looking at any other page that looks different than this, you're in the wrong place. So you're gonna to have to practice on how to get to this for me, it's really easy. I just log in first, doesn't matter where I am. Then once I log in, I click my shortcut and I automatically get myself to this page every time. So when you're at this page, this is where you can put the flights all the way. You don't have to put them leg by leg here because all we're really doing here is figuring out the taxes. We're going Melbourne to Cairo. Be careful it's not Cairns, Australia. Make sure it's Cairo, Egypt, round trip. I'm putting first class because KVS already told me first class. If I didn't go to KVS first, I'd probably put business class first and find out it's not available. Then I'd have to come back here and do it again and do it as first class. Okay, so KVS told me that I'm gonna look for October 11th. Otherwise you'd be fishing around on the website if you don't use KVS figuring out you know what date is available. Okay, so then we hit search here on the correct part of the website. And again, the only thing that we're finding out here is how much the taxes are because we can't believe the miles that it says here because we've got to do another step to find out what the miles really are. Here's like a grid. It's leaving October 11th, coming back to November 1st. The miles are 190,000. The Hong Kong dollars is 41.99. You put that in your currency converter, you get 539 for taxes. You go, go to the uh, award calculator, put your 539 in for taxes. And then uh, you, once you know that this, once you've got the taxes, you, I, I like to put this 190,000 in my award calculator temporarily, because sometimes it comes out right. And sometimes it's gonna be the same when you go recheck it, but usually not. So then you click continue, and this is gonna give you the flight numbers, which if you did KVS, you already know the flight numbers anyway, because they're right here on KVS. There they are already. Uh, but if you're doing it from the website instead of from KVS, you come here to get the flight numbers. And then uh, this 190,000, maybe you put in the award calculator temporarily until you see if it's right. Here's the, here's the taxes. Remember with, with Asia miles, just because you find the taxes, that's not the complete story. You still have to add $100 in the fees column, each direction per person. If it's two people round trip, it's $400. If it's one person round trip, it's $200 here. Of course, these miles are for one person already, so I don't need to put the taxes for two people. I can just put the, the taxes for one person because it's already one person. Otherwise, I'd be hitting the split button, as you know. Okay, so I found out the taxes. I already know from heart to add $200 round trip for Asia miles. And then I can go to the other part of the Asia miles website to find out if this 190,000 is really true. To get to the other part of the website, you just go to the main part, the main part of the Asia Miles website, and um, let's see. I don't have a shortcut for that. Maybe I should make one to get back to the main part of the website.
they've changed their website a little bit. I think I am going to make another shortcut once I get there because um, they're not making it easy for me to get to the main part of the website. Let me see what happens if I just get rid of this last part of the link. I used to be able to just click back on their website and it would take me there, but they've changed it. So now it doesn't work. See, I got to the Cathay Pacific website. That's not what I want. So I'm going to go to my link again. Sometimes you do have to fish around on their website. If you're at Cathay Pacific, you're in the wrong place because even though Asia Miles is owned by Cathay Pacific, you can't use that part of the website. So it looks like I need to make myself a shortcut link once I figure out how to get there again. Let's see. Oh, here I am. So I'm going to get a shortcut link from here. Um, let's see. I'm going to make this flight award finder a shortcut. This is the main part of the website. You go over here to the right. You click on flight award finder. When this box pops up, you don't put your cities in yet. You just hit search. And that takes you to what you see over here on the left. And this is the right place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the star and save this as a favorite. And I'm going to call this uh, uh, Asia Miles Flight Award Finder. If I can spell CX Flight Award Finder, CX FAF. OK, done. And then I'm going to move that. so that I can find it next time because they've changed things on me. So I need two links for uh, Asia Miles from now on. So this first one, um, actually I'm gonna put this first one first. So what, what I do when I go to Asia Miles then, what I will have to do from now on, I go to this main page link and then make sure that I'm logged in first. If I'm not logged in, you gotta click this orange box and log in first. So you go to the main page, log in first, and then uh, go to your other link, which has which takes you to where the taxes are, and this is the, the Asia Miles Flight Award. That's where you see the flight numbers, you get the taxes, you get the wrong miles. Then you go to this other link. I'm going to do it on a separate tab. Go to this other link, which takes you to what's called the Flight Award Finder. And that Flight Award Finder is that thing that I clicked over here on the right. I click Flight Award Finder, I click Search, and then it takes me to what you see on the left, okay? And this is where you have to put it in leg by leg. Over on the other part, you don't have to put it in leg by leg to get the taxes. But here, to get the, the true miles, you do have to put it in leg by leg. This one is from Cairo, or excuse me, it's from Melbourne, Australia. And I'm going to do this again, even though I did it once already, just to emphasize Melbourne, Australia to, it's not to Cairo. The first leg just goes to Doha. Uh, that's where they go to change planes. So Melbourne to Doha is the first leg and I'm flying on Qatar Airways. Then I have to click add sector here. And now I'm going from Doha to um, Cairo. And uh, you have to do this, whenever I say search leg by leg, you have to do this same thing on Air Canada to make sure that the flights are really available on Air Canada, or you can use KVS to make sure they're really available. I'll cover that in a minute. Doha to Cairo. Okay, so then leg by leg, select an airline, Qatar Airways. Then you have to click add sector. Now I gotta go from Cairo to Doha again. So when I say leg by leg, it's literally, you got to put in all four flights if it's got a plane change. Cairo back to Doha, D-O-H-A, and this is Qatar again. And I got to click add sector again, and I got to go from Doha, Doha, D-O-H-A. I can get my fingers to work. There we go, Doha back to Melbourne. So when I say leg by leg, that's what I'm talking about. You got to do it leg by leg. If there's a plane change, that's going to be four flights, not two flights. Leg by leg means all four flights if it's not two flights. 
you know, if it's not two direct flights. Okay, so here it is, Melbourne to Doha, Doha to Cairo, Cairo back to Doha, Doha back to Melbourne. That's leg by leg, you gotta put in all four of them. Then calculate, and this is where it comes out to 220,000 points. Whereas the other part of the website accidentally told me 190,000. You got, you got to use the 220,000, okay? So remember, use the 220, not the 190. You, you do use the taxes from the part of the website that, that said 190, and you do convert those to U.S. dollars and put them in, but then you do add $100 per person per direction. It's not $100 per leg. It's not $100 for all four of these. It's not $400. It's just $100 for changing planes in Doha and another $100 for changing planes in Doha again. It's an airport tax for changing planes. And so they change planes once going, that's $100. They change planes once coming back, that's another $100. So that's why it's $200 round trip that you add in the award calculator. If anybody has a question, you know, speak up. Um, so that's how you do Asia Miles. I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. Um, yeah, for how about for AC? Do we have to search like leg by leg? Uh, for which airline? For, um, AC or well, let me, uh, Air Canada. Yeah, let me cover that next. So let me just kind of finish off this Asia Miles uh, oh, okay. presentation. It just take me a minute. Oh. I'm, I'm almost done, and I was going to do that anyway because it's a good question. Okay, yeah, so yeah. review. This particular quote was done right because the flights are available, but what was wrong was the quoter used the 190,000 points instead of the 220, and the quoter did not know to add this $200 over here. So this quoter thought they were doing 1,200 GP, but they're really only doing 550 GP uh, in order to get to the price that they quoted it at. Luckily, they used 1,200 GP and not three or four or 500 because otherwise we'd be losing money on it. So luckily, they used 1,200 GP, so I've got room to fix it. I've got room to make up for the mistake. Uh, I, I put in this extra 200, that comes out of the 1,200 GP. I put in the extra miles, that comes out of the 1,200. So now instead of 1,200 GP, it's really only 550. However, 550 GP, I mean, is okay. We'll live with that, it's, it's okay. So it's not a huge mistake, but it is important to know that you don't use the 190 here, you do use the 220, and it is important to know that you don't use just the taxes, you gotta still add the airport part, $100 per person each way. So I think that concludes the Asia Miles. It's really important to get yourself a link so that you can get to this part of the website that looks exactly, exactly like this, and it's important to give yourself a shortcut so you can get to this part of the website, which is called the Flight Award Finder right here. That when that thing pops up, you just hit search, and then it takes you over to this other part on the left, and you just keep adding legs, add sector, add sector, add sector, and put in all four of them. Or if there's if you're only going round trip, then you just put in two of them. I mean, if you're just going, if there's no plane change, if it's just nonstop over, nonstop back, then you just need two legs here, and but you still need to check it here to see if it's the right miles. Okay, so that concludes Asia Miles. So let's talk about Air Canada for a minute. Let's say we were uh, trying to do this on Air Canada. I'm not sure, I haven't tried it yet to see if it's available. So let's change this to Air Canada and let's go Melbourne to Cairo the same date and back the same date. I'm not sure this is available because I haven't uh, tried the Air Canada one yet, but I'll show you how to do it. So now we're searching Air Canada for the same reservation. Obviously, Air Canada, if they have it, is going to go through Bangkok or Singapore because that's the partners of Air Canada, Thai Airways. And, okay, so here's one that's available. This one is th three planes, and coming back, it's available, but it's three planes. You can tell it's three because here's one, two, three because of those arrows right there. The first one is a nonstop, but it just goes to Bangkok. Then the next one goes from Bangkok to BOM, which is Mumbai, India. The next one goes from Mumbai, India to Cairo. Okay, so let's do this. Um, let me see if somebody already did this particular quote. And actually, this person really wanted the 12th of October. So I'm going to click the down arrow and see if the 12th of October is available. We'll go ahead and just do this quote if somebody else didn't already do it. Let me just go look and see if they did. So this is thinking. While it's thinking, I'm going to go over here to... Uh, the quotes and look and see, let me refresh this and see if there's a new one in here that somebody already did Air Canada. Uh, 
let's see, I forgot the name we're doing. It's um, Hannah. Okay, so we go back to quotes needed and we look for Hannah with this uh, search button. And uh, it's right here, the top one. Then I'm not gonna hit new because I don't wanna start a quote yet. I'm gonna hit the plus to look and see what's been done already. And uh, yeah, so he's gotten five quotes already. It says that the customer's already read the quote. So here's an Air Canada one that somebody did. So we'll go look at this instead of using a new one. So we're gonna just uh, click right here on edit so we can look at it. And um, so if we look at this itinerary right here, um, it so happens they're using the, oh, Melbourne to Bangkok, Bangkok to Cairo. And then coming back, it has, okay, so they used um, other flights than what we, they went down the list here and got one of these others, which is fine. So they went to the Air Canada website. So you, you go to KVS first and it says, ah, it's available. Ah, it's available. So you don't really need to pay attention to anything other than the fact that it's available. Then you go to the Air Canada website, obviously, and then you go get the actual miles and the actual flights. On the Air Canada website, the miles are correct and the taxes are correct. You don't have to go do it some other way to find out that the miles were wrong. On Air Canada, the miles are already correct. However, um, what you don't know is even though it has the correct miles and the correct taxes, what you don't know is, is it really, really, really honestly, truly available? Like if I, and on Air Canada, it doesn't matter if you search it as two one ways or a round trip because it comes out the same. So just to make it faster for the demonstration, I'm just gonna search it one way, Melbourne to Cairo, and we'll see if we get half of what the quoter got. And they, they used the 12th of October. And um, I'm just gonna do it for one person for now for demonstration. In fact, I think it is only one person. So this should come out to half the miles that the quoter used because in Air Canada, you can split it up as two one ways and it still comes out the same. You can either put it in as two one ways or one trip, round trip and the miles are gonna come out the same. So my point is on Air Canada, these miles here are correct. The, the miles at the bottom that are more, those are more because part of it's in first class. These up at the top are less because none of it's in first class. It's all either business class or economy. And obviously, you know to choose the ones that don't say economy over here on the left. So let's say we pick this first one, which is usually the, the best, the shortest trip. And that's what the quarter did. They picked this first one and they got 90,000 points. And they, of course they did it as a round trip. So they're gonna have 180,000 points. And these taxes right here, you cannot double them to make it a round trip. You can't say, okay, it's 8280 each way and then just use the same taxes because the taxes are different in each direction. The reason they're different is that this 8280 is a tax that you pay because you're leaving Melbourne. That tax is because you're leaving Melbourne. It's an airport tax for people that are leaving Melbourne. Well, on the way back, you're not leaving Melbourne. You're leaving Cairo. So you don't know what the taxes are on the way back until you try it. So if I put this in as two separate one ways, uh, it's 90,000 one way and I know the miles are right and I know the taxes are right. Where's my Air Canada? So it's uh, 8280 Canadian. So I'm gonna go over here and change that to US. And you could do this as a round trip. You don't have to do it as two one ways. But like I said, in Air Canada, it doesn't matter. So, so we'll put it in here as 8280 for just one way, 82.80. And so in US dollars, that's 60. Now remember, I can't use it for 60 both ways because I'm not leaving Melbourne both times. I'm only leaving Melbourne on the beginning. I'm leaving Cairo on the end. And Cairo has a different airport tax for leaving Cairo. Okay, and I don't need that $200 because it's not Asia miles. Okay, so then coming back, I'm gonna have another 90,000, I hope. 
and I don't know what the taxes are until I go check. So here's the flights, and we'll copy those into the quote, which is the, what the quoter did. He or she copied in, there's the flights right there in there. And then coming back, they either did it as a round trip or maybe they did it as two one ways like I'm doing it. And so we're gonna go up here and go back to new search and go the other way now, CAI. Uh, I'm just a person that likes to do things as two one ways because to me it's simpler to figure out what the flight numbers are and stuff. Cairo back to where we go in Melbourne. Okay, and the return I think they had was on November 1st. And it's business, it's one person. So we're gonna go uh, the other way now. And really all I'm doing now is figuring out what the taxes are the other way. And we, we picked this shortest one at the top. See these flight times are here, so usually you pick the one at the top as long as it doesn't have the word economy over here. And see it's 90,000 miles again, and this one has two plane changes, which is what the quoter has, so he's probably picked this one. So now we've got an airport tax for leaving Cairo, and there's another airport tax for leaving Bangkok. So the taxes coming home are gonna be more than they were going. Going, we only left one airport, and we had to pay the Melbourne taxes for leaving Melbourne. Coming back, we gotta pay the airport tax for leaving Cairo, and also for leaving Bangkok. And those two added together are 10970 Canadian, which is right over here, okay? And so then we put in the 10970 Canadian, and that comes out to 80.50, whatever. So notice that's different than it was leaving Melbourne because now we're leaving two airports and they're different airports. So now instead of $60 taxes, we have $80 taxes. Number one, the Cairo taxes could be different than the Melbourne taxes. And number two, we're also adding in the Bangkok taxes for leaving Bangkok because we're also going to leave Bangkok on our trip. I don't need any extra airport taxes over here like I do in Asia Miles. And let's see what this quarter used for GP in the, uh, they should have 190,000 miles or uh, excuse me, 180,000, which is twice 90. So you can see this quoter did it as a one round trip, which is fine. So they had, uh, see my, my math line would have AC 90, then would have another AC 90, because I did it as two one ways. And it would have two separate taxes too, because I did it as two one ways. This quoter did it as a round trip, which is fine on Air Canada and Delta and United and most airlines, it doesn't matter if you do it as two one ways and use two lines in the award calculator, whether you do it as one. Okay, so here's the right taxes, the right um, miles and everything. And uh, so now we get to the part that's your real question, Donna Lynn, and that is how do I recheck it leg by leg? So now I found out, okay, here's the miles, here's the taxes, I got it all done. And actually what you would do before you went through all that is you would go to KVS or Air Canada, either one, and check it leg by leg. So in other words, I'm gonna put this, uh, let's see, I'm gonna go find this reservation so I can put it on another screen so that I can look at all the flight numbers more easily. Uh, which one is this one? This one's the, uh, hold on just a minute everybody. Okay, um, so actually the part where you recheck it leg by leg, you would actually do it before we did all that. Once you see it available on, on Air Canada, um, let's see, let me find the quote. I just, I just, I, I gotta leave in a minute, so I'm kind of in a hurry now. So what's the price of the one that's on the Air Canada? Let me see which one is it. Uh, that's not it. It's probably this 33 one. There it is. Okay, I'm gonna slide this to another screen just so that I can look at the flight numbers. Okay, so this is the part that you asked about, how do I do this? What you do is either on the Air Canada website, you either put in uh, Melbourne to, to Bangkok all by itself for the first leg. You can, either, you can do it like this. You go uh, Melbourne to Bangkok all by itself, which is just the first leg, right? We're going Melbourne to Bangkok to Cairo. 
So that's just the first leg. And you gotta, you got to look in here and, and make sure this is really available because uh, Air Canada will tell you stuff is available, but when you put it in leg by leg, it's not available. If you uh, okay, in, so we have to check first um, leg by leg. Like yep. Melbourne, to Bangkok. Melbourne to Bangkok and then uh -huh. Bangkok to Cairo and you can either do this on the website or you can do it on mm -hmm. KVS it's a lot faster on KVS uh -uh. I'm just on the website right now now I'm not going to use these miles because I I'm going to get the miles and taxes for going all the way but see how this one is available Melbourne to Bangkok all by itself is available so okay that's good I don't need to worry about it and another right. faster way is to just do that on KVS. You just KVS. go Melbourne to Bangkok and just do it on KVS and see if it shows up as CS plus. So, and actually you would do this before you went and made the whole quote. Cause what happens if you do this and find out it's really not available? You wasted all that time making a quote. So here's the yeah. Melbourne to Bangkok CS plus it's available. Then I click swap and I do Bangkok to Cairo. And if I'm doing it in KVS, I just, it's quick, you know, you just switch the yeah. cities, Bangkok to Cairo. Right. And I got to make sure this piece is also CS plus, right? Or I could go to the website and make sure it just shows up as available on the website. So let's just check this one really quick. And then on the way back, you're going to have to check all three flights separately, right? Because on the way back, he was using three flights. So there's, oh, see, this isn't really available. So this this quoter made the mistake of not checking it leg by leg because it, it, he's, he's saying that you can go straight from Bangkok to Cairo. There is no flight here straight from Bangkok to Cairo. So it really is not available. So this quote should not have been sent because the truth is it's not really available. See, there's no, it, there's no flight from, from Bangkok to Cairo available separately. Let me show you on the website, use your miles, travel, so this quoter made a mistake. They didn't check it leg by leg. If I sell this, I can't ticket it. I can't sell it. It's not really available. If I do Bangkok to Cairo, even though it said it was available when I when I checked it all the, all the way through, it really isn't when I check it leg by leg. On Air Canada, it has a quirk. You have to check it leg by leg. Otherwise, it's not really, really, really available. They They offer things to people that aren't really available. And the only way to find out if it's really available is to go check it leg by leg like this. So this quoter actually sent an invalid quote. It's not really available. We can't sell it. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, see it has one stop. The one he offered was nonstop. So the only thing that's really available is to go from Bangkok to Istanbul to Cairo. You see what I mean? And the same thing in here. See, there's there's no there's no nonstop flight here. It's it's not here. And it's also not here on the website when you just go Bangkok to Cairo. So this quote is invalid. This quoter did not know. Um, here, let me put it back on your screen. This quoter, whoever did it, did not know that you have to check it. Where am I going? This quoter did not know that you see this flight from Bangkok to Cairo. Even though at first the Air Canada made us think it was available, it's really not because when we go check it leg by leg, it's not there. So you can't quote it, okay? Does that answer your question um, about Air Canada? Yeah, yeah. So what we really need to do with AC is we also have to check leg by leg. Always, mm -hmm. always on okay. AC. And the quickest way to do it is to just do it on KVS. See, when I put it in KVS, Bangkok, uh -huh. Cairo, boom. There's no nonstop flight there from Bangkok to Cairo. It's not there because it's not available really. And even though, even though if I put, even though if I put it in KVS Melbourne to Cairo all the way, it shows that it is available. It's really not available until I check it leg by leg and make sure it's really available. So Air Canada lies to you. Their website and KVS will both give you the wrong answer uh, if you don't check it leg by leg. See here, it says it's available. Look right there. See, it's available when you check it all the way. But checking it all the way isn't good enough. You have to also check it leg by leg. And when you check it leg by leg and you put in the Bangkok to Cairo part, it ain't there. See what I mean? 
So that's when I say on Air Canada, you yeah. have to check it leg by leg. So you cannot quote Air Canada without checking it leg by leg. Don't even start making your quote until you see that what what you until you see that it really is available all the way. So if I was doing this, it would take me two seconds to find out. First of all, I'm going to go from Melbourne to Cairo and I'm going to say, oh, good. I think it's probably available, maybe. But then when I when I quickly check it leg by leg before I go to the work of making a quote, I'm going to I'm going to quickly put in here Melbourne, Melbourne to Bangkok by itself on the 12th of October. Right. So yeah, I'm still at I'm still in in uh, in KVS. I didn't even go to Air Canada yet because see in KVS it tells me okay it's probably available. But as soon as I start checking it leg by leg in KVS before I even go to the website, the first leg's available. Now I quick swap and try and do the second leg, Bangkok to Cairo, and I try and do the second leg, and oops, it's not really there. This flight 961. I can't get it to show up if I just do it by itself. Bangkok to Cairo over here on the right, it's not there. So that's the answer on Air Canada. Yes, the miles are correct. Yes, the taxes are correct. But you don't know if it really is available until you break it down leg by leg, either in KVS or on the website. Okay? So that's it. I've got to run to dinner, so I'm going to cut okay. off this training. Unless you have another quick, quick question. Thank you so much. You're all set? No, we don't have. It's good to know about these um, Asia miles and, and yeah. Canada. Thank you. Right. Okay, I'm going to save this recording so it'll be on there. So tell your friends that are quoters that they all need to watch what we just did. Okay, bye, everybody. Uh-huh, sure.